For a number of years now, work has been proceeding in order to bring perfection to the crudely conceived idea of a transmission that would not only supply inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal grammeters. Such an instrument is the turbo encapulator. Now basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it is produced by the modial interaction of magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. The original machine had a base plate of prefamulated amulite surmounted by a malleable logarithmic casing in such a way that the two spurving bearings were in a direct line with a panometric fan. The latter consisted simply of six hydrocoptic marzal veins so fitted to the ambivation lunar wane shaft that side fumbling was effectively prevented. The main winding was of the normal lotus or delta type placed in panendermic semi-boloid slots of the stator. Every seventh conductor being connected by a non-reversible termi pipe to the differential girdle spring on the up end of the Grammys. The turbo encabulator has now reached a high level of development and it's being successfully used in the operation of Nova Trunnions. Moreover, whenever a fluorescent spore motion is required, it may also be employed in conjunction with a drawn reciprocation dingle arm to reduce sinusoidal replenition. It's not cheap, but I'm sure the government will buy it. For a number of years now, work has been proceeding.